hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to discuss about the new updates in the power effects enabled desktop flow so please stay with me till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so in the desktop flows where power effects is enabled there are couple of updates so the first update in the power effects enabled desktop flow is that when you are creating a variable using a set variable action if a variable does not start with equals to it will have the data type as text for example if i type 1 2 3 4 and i will run the bot here you can see that the data type is text value right so for example if you want to make it as numeric or the data type should be numeric value in that case you need to start it with always equals to sign and now if you will run this bot you will see that the data type is numeric value so this is the first update and same thing goes for the boolean value if you are just assigning true in that case the data type is going to be text value right so if you want it to be a boolean then you need to start it with equals to and the capital T should not be there it should be starting with a small letter T so if you write it with the capital T and then save it then you are going to get this error right so you have to make sure that it is starting with the small letter T then click on save and then run the flow now you will see that the data type is boolean value and however you can see the value is true and this t is in capital letter right so while you are assigning the value you have to make sure that the first letter which is t it should be in small case in power effects enabled desktop flows now it also supports the interpolated strings so let's say i have a variable which is named as number one and the value which i'm going to assign to is one two three and i will create one more variable and i'll name it as number two and the value which i'm going to give it is three you have noticed that we are not using percentage sign while creating a variable so that is one way to create a variable in power effects enabled desktop flows okay now what i will do is i will take another variable i'll name it as result let's say i want to include a interpolated value so let's say result is right and then i will start it with dollar then i will have curly bracket right let's say i want to sum these two variables i will use sum then round bracket then the variable name i have the variable name as number one comma number two i will click on save and then i will run the flow and here you can see that you have the result as 126 so if you will sum 123 plus 3 then the value will be 126 now in this variable if you want to add some more text you can say that 
thank you and let's say you want to add one more expression in that case you need to use dollar curly bracket and now in this you want to use length function so i will use l e n then round bracket then i will specify the name of the variable which is number 2 i will click on save and then run the flow and if you see the output you can see that result is 126 which is sum of 123 and 3 and thank you the text that we have given and the length of the number 2 variable right so these are the two updates that we have got in the PowerFX enable desktop flows in the first update you have to make sure that if you do not want a number to be considered as text value you have to make sure that it is starting with equals to and same thing goes for the boolean values you have to ensure that if you are assigning true or false to a variable value must start with equals to and the first letter must be in the small case so for the true it should be in small case true and for the false it should be in small case false the second update is that you now you can use interpolated string where you can add your string along with the values of the variable and also you can add the expressions so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day